Let's just make this a quick one. We've got a severely matted Shih Tzu. And I know you guys out there will learn a lot through this video because we're going to have to do everything. Uh, because they keep missing appointments, I'm going to take him all the way down and he's matted. So we've got our 10 and we are ready to roll. If you guys are wanting this, uh, we are the cheapest right now on this Andis 5 speed, a clipper across all boards that we've looked at. So if you want this clipper, it's lightweight. Go to myfavoritegroomer.com, click on shop here and order your clippers today. I don't have his file, but I did glance at it. I'm doing a 10 down. Start. I will start at the neckline and I am anticipating maybe running into fleas. So since I know it's matted down in here, I'm gonna just stick with my 10. It's a little shorter than I would probably love to, but it's not my fault if they're not gonna come in as much as they should um, for whatever. And I smell like this very stank wrench of, of urine here. So I'm doing a 10 to be safe. Just checking to see fleas so we can react. When you've got a matted dog, if they, uh, just some skin irritations. If you have a matted dog, please don't bathe it. You know, please just do not do a hair uh, bath. And lots of urine, I can smell urine just, it's gonna be in my lungs, even through the mask. And don't think like I just itched my face. Don't think I'm not thinking about those things as I'm grooming him. I definitely keep my hands washed uh, a lot. I, I washed them. Me and David, I, I think he's followed in uh, my path here, but it's a pretty dirty job. So we try to wash our hands uh, very often, even more than probably some of these restaurant servers that I see out there that barely ever wash their hands serving on our tables and stuff. So keep your hands clean. I don't like to even go to my keyboard without washing my hands first, my computer keyboard. So it's pretty matted in there. Smell of urine out of here. So the pet parent walks in and I said, are we still in bad shape like last time? He said, yes. And I said, well, you guys have missed some appointments. So I said, um, I'm pretty straight up. I said, this is the second time he's cut. He's standing there holding him. I can see how mad he is. I'm like, this is the second time. And we, we had booked them at monthly appointments and they just did not come in. So, um, I mean, this is over. Let's just put it that way. And I was real clear about it as soon as he was standing there. So it's not like I'm trying to hide it or anything. I gave him an option to just turn around right there. So um, if you've got situations where your clients are not sticking to their appointments like you're telling them, then just be real with them. I said, well, this is how much it's gonna be today. Are you good with that? And he said, yes. So uh, I don't wanna continue grooming a matted dog like this. This is insane. We should be ahead of it. So I don't know if it's the next one or the next one after that, but you, you can refuse to service people if they don't wanna stick to a schedule. They can go somewhere else. And I can tell you right now, there's a lot of places that do. There's this poop here. There's a lot of places that will not do matted dogs. So, you know, you use up uh, too many of your chances uh, bringing a, a pet in where they will groom your matted dog. Then at some point, if, if it's too hard on us, we won't, you know? It's like, you have a dog that needs to be maintained regularly. We've got to, we've got to fix the situation. So, uh, one of the things that you guys are to asking me out there is, do I turn these dogs in? Do I turn their pet parents in? You know, honestly, not that I don't care. I'm here to fix the situation. I'm not here to say he's not taking care of his dog. I'm not here to judge that. I mean, because then we're crossing boundaries of just like, ha just having a lot of conflict and drama, okay? If you want to turn in dogs that are coming into your facility, at what point, it's just, it's just so, it's such a fine line of like, he's totally watching David. Um, it's a fine line of like, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't have the time to call the cops on every dog that walks in here that I feel like maybe have been neglected. I'll make a list if you guys want to turn them in, but you see what I'm saying? It just takes so much time. Now your um, authorities, uh, we don't even have enough cops to, you know, run our streets and keep us protected. Now I'm, I'm calling them over a matted dog. I don't know that I would do that. I know it sounds, doesn't sound right, but... As long as he's here, he's willing to spend the money, we're getting him groomed, maybe not as often as I would probably recommend it, but he's here, okay? I didn't call him and tell him to come in. They called me and said, we need to come in. So, I'm not gonna call the cops on this guy. I think the process is gonna be too long, too tedious, 
and it's going to be a waste of my time where I could have just helped, helped him get groomed and call it a day. So, I mean, there's a few ways to look at it. Uh, you just got to have your own judgment on it. Again, I'm not here to sit here and judge him. I just, I'm just telling him, like, hey, I, I don't want to do this again. It's hard on the dog, and uh, it's not cool. So, come in more, or you'll have to find another person. You, you have to make that choice. I haven't given these guys that option yet, but to have a severely matted dog a few times in a row, you guys will just end up making the call, you know. But he gets really matted. There's no brushing here, man. And look how sweet he is. He's just a sweetie pie. He's just a, and there's just all these mats under here. I can feel them all down his arms. I'm making it come out just like glue, like this. It's just coming, just coming off. But I mean, there's some, there's mats from the skin out. See this arm right here? This is all matted right here. Is this fun for him? No, it's not fun. Is, is carrying those around? No, it's not fun. All the armpit can it's all matted in here. A seven would just take that skin right out if I if I'm working around mats. So you gotta use your safest blade. Can a 10 do the same thing? Yeah. If I'm making it look easy, that's because I've been doing it a long time. So don't try this at home, okay, you guys, without proper training or um, really get someone that's willing to go, go through it with you before you start battling matted dogs. Or cats, for that matter. Some of them are out there wanting to groom their own cats, and that scares the living crap out of me. It's all matted on his face. They, they insisted leaving a mustache. Oh, no, no, baby. Let me just clear his face out here in a second so you can see something. Like a Fu Manchu, they wanted that, the dad wanted that last time. It just, it amazes me, man. We want this Fu Manchu, but look at this situation. I wouldn't even care. But that's just me speaking my mind. I mean, whatever, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna leave one if I can. I, had, I think I had to shave his whole face with a 10 last time just to leave it. I know that's kind of a weird. Make sure you're standing up. Pads are all matted. This poor guy. The technique I'm using, even if I'm having a matted dog, is the same for you guys asking me how to get the lines in the feet. Just come straight down. You gotta have that. You gotta have your clippers where you need them to come just straight down the foot here. Some of you guys are creating a line right there. Even on a matted dog, there's no line here. This goes straight down. I'm not sure if you guys want to send me some pictures. Other than that, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you're creating a line right here, I don't get it. So send me some pictures. Uh, I don't really know what you mean. If um, you can't go straight down the arm. You have to be able to go straight down the arm. Some of you also, I'm going to show you on the sanitary here. Asking about sanitary on small dogs. I'll reiterate that. I've done a couple videos with it already. Yeah, David's in training. He's been in training since he met me. <laughs> so he's doing pretty good. Um, I still think he should take some uh, real classes uh, because it's hard to learn from somebody who's, uh, this is what we're doing for a living. So it's hard for me to stop and actually give him the proper training and uh, the time. Because when you're rocking and rolling, which well, that's how, we, how, we, how I work, it's hard to do any kind of training. It's, it's, it's the YouTube alone. So start your sanitary up on the, there's an opening here. That's the cavity of the chest bone here. I can feel there's flesh, right? And then there's the bone. So I started up high. You start your tin way up there for the sanitary. Watch the skin here. And look at all this, man. How is he able to pee, you guys? So because I'm, uh, I can't tell, I'm actually going to come hike this leg so I don't nick him coming that direction because of the mat. Otherwise, you should have just took it straight down around this uh, private area. Careful on the uh, slit where he urinates from. Now I'm trying to just watch what I'm doing. Hike his leg as if he was hiking his leg to pee, same thing. He is intact, so be careful. Don't just grab, don't just go so heavy you come in with the skin here, that kind of thing. So here, it's all, look how mad, how can you pee, man? Come on, you guys. 
come up here and watch it. You know, there's a ball sack there, so be careful. Right here can be nicked really easy. You may have already done it before. Just be careful. Trying to get under the mats here first. Isn't he doing so good, you guys? He's doing so good for everything I have to do for him here. Okay, I'm gonna come. So it's matted here. I'm actually gonna hold him really tight here and just get that out, okay? So I don't wanna nick him in any way, shape, or form there, if possible. We got some mats here. I'm gonna try to leave a tail, so I'm gonna come in sideways and cut some of these mats sideways and brush out later without having to take the whole tail down. But you saw I'm fading it all in. Just gonna do that sideways like that. Just get that cut. Later the brush will help me take out what's matted left. Sometimes there's mats. Oh, I'm gonna just check first. Hold your clippers there. Right in here, in this area, there's some mats up against the skin, which there's not. So I'm just gonna kinda do this. Um, push this skin out to kinda get that, but it's matted, so I'm gonna lift here and dig in that little crevice right there. There's some mats in there. Sometimes the skin, the hair here goes in reverse. So just lightly with your 10, not hard, because you don't want that. It's already growing in reverse. Hair on a dog can grow in, in all different directions. I'm trying to do clean up as much as I can now, so after the bath, there's hardly any blow dry or any blow dry at all. I'm gonna change my 10 as I'm taking it to its face. And I wanted it as cool as it can be. Okay. I really don't care. Let me see here. I'm going to take that with the floor guard. I may not see him the three to six months. So I'm going to do a four, which is purple, and I'm going to go reverse. Last time I think it was a, just a straight 10 everywhere. even on the top of the head, and I left a mustache. You can go on my Facebook page and see before and afters. I'm pretty sure he's one of them on there. So we got matted ears here, matted cheek. I'm gonna come back with a 10. The top of his head, I'm doing a four, just a four like this. Not liking that mat right there. You can hear that whistly kind of and the, that means that the definitely hair got stuck in the teeth there the clippers like that it's not going to let it cut i'm wondering if it's a match if not i'm going to change out this 10. yeah it's definitely i'm going to mess with this 10 later this is a fail 10. Okay, I'm gonna come back now, clean up this mat around the ears so I can see what I'm doing. Got big eyeballs, you guys. I gotta scissor that out of the way first and see what I'm working with. Okay, let me see. I know. Let me see. Let me get this all out of the way here. Let's see what you got going on. Look at this, man. Can't even see anything. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, these guys need to be groomed every two months. I mean, they need to be brushed every day just touch them a little bit with the brush every day their space their space their face especially man inverted v come with the inverted v like this get that i can't even see man so i'm just as long as it's with my clippers not scissors i feel a little bit more confident of just kind of getting in there just to clean it out at least all matted you know and he said such a beautiful face lightly around there so I don't have to come back with the scissors for a minute it's all matted we want to leave a mustache okay, no. okay I'm sorry let me see I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry yes I'm so sorry 
I'm so sorry. You're such a sweetheart. Yes, you are. You're such a sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So matted in there. Yes, it is. It's so matted. I'm gonna get it out for you, okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't do it though. I'm pushing it right against my hand here. Careful not to cut yourself. And the blade is pretty heavy and hard. It's all crusty from food. Let's see what we're working with here. See what I can leave and what I can't, you know what I mean? I think we're looking good here. Some knots up in here, up in his face here. All these knots here, see this? It's hard to leave a mustache, you know, if you've got mats. I don't even know why I care. I'm gonna shave all that off. <laughs> just shave it off. See, it's still matted here. Let's see if it can work. So the comb is checking. Some of you guys have bought their tool kits, that's why. It has everything you need. Then we have our mat breaker. Because we're trying to leave something, right? Not that I would, but we are, was requested, requested to do that, so. I know. So come in with your comb straight down like this, too, to jerk that, jerk the ones that you've already cut through out. Hold it, just like you would a child, hold the hair so it's not pulling like I'm a scalp, you know? I know, I'm so sorry. If you're moving as fast as me, watch the eyeballs Watch the eyeballs and where you put your the tip. Okay, let me see. Let me check it out. You want to be able to go through the hair all the time. So if you're going to bathe your dog, this comb should be able to go through before you get your dog wet. Hold it just like a child. Hold that there so I'm not pulling his little face. Just pulling that right there where it's at. I can see this piece so I can just pull it out. He's doing so good, isn't he? back with the brush I'm able to the, the ears don't feel like they're severely matted or anything I'm gonna come with the tin on the inside of the ear this is matted there I'm gonna come back there never mind there, there's a little bit of mats everywhere okay we're taking that down I'm not gonna spend a lot of time clean, uh, dematting I'm gonna do a seven here. See, it's still matted, right? It's still matted there. Watch your ear flaps go straight down when you're using like a seven or something. Straight down and out. I'm gonna come back with a 10 later and clean up the inside of that ear. Same thing here. Watch your ear flaps come straight down. Man, these clippers or the blade are starting to irritate me. This happened the other day. You guys were watching the mobile grooming. Still trying to figure out which ones are, which one of my blades are good and bad. Matted. Okay. No problem with that one. Come back, clean out, watch your flap right there. I like to do this so the ears can breathe. Less opportunity for an ear infection to kind of grow in there when it's uh, so hot and humid. It's very hot and humid in the ears. Doing great, huh? He's doing so good. We're able to leave some of that. Let's see here. Did I see it? Did I clean up the mats right here already? Oh, I did. 
Did you burp? <laughs> Did you burp, buddy? Let's see. Just cutting some mats if they're still there. So I actually am pretty short here, right? I am actually going to come back because I mean we've done we had to take mats out, so it's a little different than our normal situation. So I'm actually going to come and just see if I can clean it up with, uh, without continuing going shorter. I'm not going to come clean it up with my 7, okay? If I have to bring it down to a 10 and I can't get it, I will, I will change back. But I'm just going to just kind of um, get it all the same length with my 7 so that, again, like I don't have to keep going shorter, okay? Because he was he's matted and that's why we had to use the 7 to begin, or the 10 to begin with. So here's a little bit of unevenness. The 7 reverse is real close to the 10. Like, really, really close. It's a little shy shorter, but um, just to kind of, I know, what are you looking at out there? He's looking out there. And you're going to have, we're going to have to come and fix that up. Keep moving around, man. So intermittently do your uh, seven down, seven reverse if you see some stuff really long. Use the corner of your seven here. Kind of see some of these things hanging out. I'm going to lift and see that hanging out there, just kind of even that up. Come back with your 10 in the actual armpit. Watch this flap. You can actually suck that right into your 7. Oh, I got him! No, I'm just kidding, you guys. Uh, so a few of you have written me comments like, when you get so close, CD, I feel like you're just going to get him. You know, so I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> remember that comment, man? Do you remember her? She's like, every time I watch you use scissors... I think you're gonna get him. I'm totally gonna get you again, girl. You better watch out. Not today, I'll let your heart rest, but yeah, I thought I'd throw that out there. So seven reverse here and there. Okay, he's not liking that. But truly a seven down, I'm just trying to even stuff up. But do you see how like there's some evenness, unevenness right there? Just take that with your seven reverse real light. Can't even tell, can you? I'll come back with my 10 up in here. You can see a little line right there. He is constantly moving around now. Maybe because you can actually see. Yeah? Can you actually see what's going on around him? Okay. Moving around quite a bit. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Come over here. Stop. Stop. Still my seven here. Okay, I'm coming back for a 10. I'm gonna hike this leg and come in this way like this. That's a great way to get that knee hair right here. Same thing too with your armpits. Ten down in here for sure because you're gonna have to hand scissor if you do the seven. He's got a lot of movement now, so it's kind of I need to tighten this groom loop probably. I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit. I'm going to lift up, up. Use your code words. I'm going to come in and just get that little piece right there, all that hanging out there, kind of coming at it just any way I can get it without nicking them. 
this is a great where, area to, so you can see that there, there's some flats here that are easily nicked if you don't pay attention, even with the 10 blade. If you're coming out and it's matted, I mean, it's, every dog has maybe one or two, sometimes just one and it's easy to nick. kind of heavy on my arm here, so too much, but go down and rest if you need to. Getting him to kind of squat for me so I can kind of chisel a couple of those hairs out of there, right in this pivot right there. Okay, are we almost done? Four guard on the head. go really through it now that we got those ear mats out. Loop them back. Make sure it's right under the chin there. You're good. You're good, man. You're good, man. Switch out. Why? Why, man? Why are they upside down? I'm gonna Grab all this. I'm looking good. It's got uh, some brushing to do. I'm kind of tight at the feet. Sorry, buddy. Already told dad uh, right before I got started, texted him and said, Hey, you got 10 about 10 minutes, get them kind of on their way. Okay, I'm gonna use our brush here and do some leave in conditioner. Might as well do a little bit here. Love that stuff. You can uh, find it on our website as well for shopping. Yeah, leave-in conditioner. Our spray bottles are amazing. This is one of my new favorites is the rainbow. Oh, is that cool? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you work so hard, you work 12, 15 hours a day. Those little things, like colorful stuff, it just makes your life just a little more colorful. Like, you feel good about what you're doing, and it, it makes it just fun for you. It's not a huge thing, a freaking spray bottle, but it's just those little things. If you need it, make your life easier. Um, and the, you love the color, you know? Because my first favorite was the ocean one. I sold that. I sold, I sold anything I used. So now I got this water one. I mean, just the water splash looking one. So we have them. Little things that just make your life easier and happier. So I need my little brush. We're going to come check out these feet. And any, any extra stuff. He's already pretty short, so I'm not trying to take off more. Just kind of even it up. That's all you really want to do. We'll come back. Don't let me forget to clean up this this paw here. I'm not a veterinarian. I am just a groomer, but I'm going to clean that up for him, just like I would my own dog at home if they had nicked themselves or something like that. I'm going to clean up that area where that toenail had grown all the way in. So some of you guys are like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe that! I can't believe this is happening!" You know, you're not a veterinarian. I get it, what you're thinking, but at the same time, you have to think like. Uh, it's there. You need to take care of it. You're not going to just be like, okay, well now go spend $200 at the vet. You know, just do the nail trim, brief them, let them know to watch it. Don't want it to get infected. If it does, then, you know, it would have, it would have continued growing and gotten infected anyway. So be right there. A few minutes. Okay. So Let's 
do Got these dew claws back there, so that's why you gotta watch and make sure that those do get trimmed. Um, let me step back. I don't really don't care about that as long as it's short, right? Okay, so do that. Um, we're good here. I did the tail. Let me just come back and check the trim the ear flaps. Even these out here. Hold that leather in your fingers so you're not doing any nicking. See, I'm literally cutting right against my finger here. So I mean, I'll probably cut myself before I would cut the dog on the ears. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna come tidy up his face here and even out some of this stuff that I'm seeing here. Even though we used a four because we had some mats and stuff, it's not evened out very well. So if you see it sticking up, come and just trim that, get that all evened up there. I cleaned that face out really good. So you can see I'm just kind of doing a half moon here everywhere. Thinning shears, if you use that around the face, you'll see it leaves a lot of hair around the eyeballs. It's okay, it's okay if you're gonna clean it out. I wouldn't send them home with a bunch of hair in the eyeballs, I hate that. I don't, I don't do that. So if you do do that, definitely pick up some of our eye wash. Have that as your last, the last thing you do with the dog is put that eye wash in there. I've had groomers work for me and I'm like, look at all the hair in their eyeballs. So it's there. Uh-uh. No. 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 So on him, I was able to leave all these whiskers. No need to shave all that because we are leaving a, a beard here. It's just personal preference, so I'm just gonna do that. I am gonna check with my comb though, make sure I got all the mats out. Hey, stop, look, stop, 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 stop. Let me get a, a let me hold here. I wanna make sure from the skin out, you got all of them out, okay? Fucking great. 